All right, this is the first video in a four-part series about strong acid and strong base titrations. Um, what we want to do here in this video is just find the pH of our HCl here before we add any NaOH in our titration. Uh, the next three videos will look at finding the pH at the equivalence point and before and afterwards. So what we're looking at here though is we know we just have HCl here in our beaker. We haven't added any NaOH, so we need to find the concentration of H3O plus ions. So let's do this. Let's write the dissociation of HCl in water. We have HCl plus H2O. Uh, this is going to fully dissociate into H3O plus and Cl minus. Okay, so what we know here is we do know that our HCl is 0 0.2 molar. So we can write that here, 0 0.2 molar, just to keep track of this. And because this is all one-to-one -one ratios, um, molar ratios, we know that everything, well, the water won't have molarity, that doesn't make sense, but this will also be 0 0.2 molar, and this will also be 0 0.2 molar. Okay, so now to find the pH, all we need to do is find the negative log of the concentration of H3O+. plus. So let's write that down. pH is equal to the negative log of... We said H3O plus the concentration. And here we can go, we can just fill this right in. Say pH is equal to negative log of 0 0.2. Right, 0 0.2, that was molars. And if we go and punch this into our calculator, we're going to find out that our pH is 0 0.699. Let's leave it at that. All right, join me in the next video and we'll look at finding the pH after we've added a little bit of NaOH.